What's up YouTube, it's Noob Gamer here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a professional intro on Coral Video Studio Pro X4. Um, as you can see from the start of the video, the intro, uh, that's the video, that's the intro that I'm going to be using for all my um, videos now, all the upcoming videos, so look out for that and um, I'm just going to be showing you how to create one like that on the same program so it'll be nearly exactly the same anyway um, these are two websites you can get them from movietools.info you get them for free and ignitemotion.com I'm gonna use um, movietools.info today and I'm gonna download this one Digitwise looks quite good quite fun yeah so click on it and then you can preview it and then download it click on it and then it should start downloading here if you have Google Chrome <coughs> recommend using it, it's very fast. Yeah, show the folder and then um drag it to coral. Yeah and it comes up. Um and then basically you can look at it if you want and then uh, yeah that's what's gonna look like basically it's ten seconds. So anyway to get started um from the start of my video, uh, you can tell I had that animated text, um, four, four like sections. Um, so basically, you can choose any one of these animations. They're preset, preset word animation thingies, text, title animations. I was using this one. I'm gonna go. For, I mean, the the opportunities are. In, I mean, look at look at look how many things you can get. But I'm just gonna choose this one for now drag it to the text text tab here and basically this is how it's going to look obviously you could be changing the titles but yeah that's just a little thing and it'll go out like that as well right so to change the text uh, double click on that delete that and delete that right now you can put your own text in um, and put new gamers and then center it and then you can play it so now guys you can just play around with whatever font you want uh, you can just play around with everything because Coral Video Studio Pro is just epic you can do so much stuff with it I'm not even going to go through everything it's just really good um, Okay, so that's the basics. You can bold it, but basically, this is the main kind of bit because you can choose. Um, well, not main, but like I like to have this one. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, and oh yeah, this this is kind of the main bit. You can choose um, <coughs> what kind of style you want. I won't call it the main bit actually. I'll call it like a side thing. I'll choose this one. No, actually, no, that looks stupid I'll choose whatever 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 you want to choose really your choice your your intro I'll go for this one I don't know why yeah anyway that's what's gonna look like you can change the color if you want from here I like Windows color picker better that's the only thing I don't like about um this yeah I'll keep it as that <coughs> Right, so now that's done. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Um, instead of making a new title again, you can basically this is a kind of trick. You can copy, right-click, copy, and then paste it right next to it. Right, that that's that's a really easy way. And then you can just change it, change the if that's providing you want the same style for for each one. So like yeah, only if you want that. Anyway, then you can edit the text from here and then. It would be perfect. Tutorials. I'm just doing it randomly because of this video. Anyway, however many as you want, keep on copying, pasting, whatever. Your choice. <coughs> Change that. Oh yeah, sorry about um, the lack of COD gameplays. Um, I just got a new recording equipment, so I should be getting some 
more videos up just in case you're wondering if you watch my videos our videos Noob Gamer isn't here today yes um so right I can put this as enjoy I don't know basically now you've got that you can shorten them whatever you want so it, so it fits your video <coughs> nicely and then you can overlay them as well like um, put a, a transition between them I'm not going to be doing that today because I don't think it looks nice you can do that in your own time basically you just drag it like that over it like an overlay Hence the name overlay and transition. I'll add one more. <laughs> Test at the end, that'll be funny. Not. Oh, yeah, finally, music. So, I like any type of music, I don't care. Um, let's go to music. Where's it going? Ericsson, I got that. Sony Ericsson, um, I like my, you know, I got the Xperia X10 Mini Pro, let's do ice, ice baby, boom boom boom, whoops, and drag it, drag it there, um, in your library, and then drag it to the music tab right here, uh, I'm gonna take the first bit of it, so, yeah, just basically go to the end of it, if you don't want to be dragging this, you can zoom out here. Uh, drag it down more, more until it comes to the end of the video. There we go. Now let's see how it sounds. Oh, you can fade it in and out. I recommend doing that because <coughs> you don't want it to abruptly start and abruptly stop. So to do that, just double click there, and um, this is fade out. If it's highlighted like that, then that means it's selected. Um, yeah. So that's how long the actual music is so you can preview it now the whole project it's going to be lagging here because it's not the full thing yep okay so that was it it lags quite a bit because we haven't created the video file yet so basically you can project playback there but I'm just gonna go straight ahead and create the video file so got everything of that um, I'm gonna put in HD because it looks better a lot better 1080p HD <coughs> name it safe and um, I'll be back when it's finished cool oh yeah guys sorry I forgot to tell you um, to get this software, Core Video Studio Pro X4. It's really good software. Um, I think it's £49. You can get it from their website. Um, I advise you to get it. It's an amazing um, uh, budget editing software and it works really good, as you can see from this. There's infinite possibilities with this thing, so I advise you to get it from their website. Um, anyway, yeah, so it's finished recording. So we can open it. I mean, it's finished editing. It's finished doing it, so we can open it. very very good so that was how to create a professional intro on Core Video Studio Pro X4 see you later guys <laughs>